Happy Mother's Day to all moms all over the world. I pray and wish you all a day full of love, joy, and peace. Despite the lockdowns and hardships that we are all enduring, may you have a very happy Mother's Day. Always remember that Jesus came to give you what your husband and your children can never give you. Perfect love, perfect happiness, and perfect security. We read about Jesus' love and care for a mother in Luke chapter 7, verses 11 to 17. She was a widow, and her only son died. Back then, women who were widows and had no sons were really poor and disadvantaged. They could not get a job, and many of them became beggars. And so when the Lord saw her, he was moved with compassion and said to her, Don't cry. Then he touched the coffin and said to the dead boy, Young man, I tell you, get up. And lo and behold, the dead person sat up and began to talk. Then Jesus gave him back to his mother. In his book called Miracles, Professor Craig Keener tells stories upon stories of people who were miraculously raised back to life in response to prayer to God. This happened throughout church history and today in our present day and age. Indeed, God's word says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, that Jesus the Messiah is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If someone in your family or community just died, you can pray and ask God to raise that person back to life. Why not? You can just be honest to God and tell Him how grieved you are about that dear person's death. Remember, though, that God can answer your prayer with a yes or a no. He can choose to perform a miracle and raise that person back to life. Or God can choose not to resuscitate her or him. But whatever his answer might be, you need to trust God. He is wise and he is always good and loving. So just pray. Tell God everything that you are feeling deep inside of you. Then ask God to do what you want to ask him to do. And then relax. Rest your heart and mind in God. Trust Him to do what is wise and right. God is infinite in wisdom. He is infinite in goodness. And He is infinite in love. He knows what is the best for your present situation. Most importantly, keep clinging to God and keep walking with Him. He knows your pain and sufferings, and He has great compassion for you. He promises in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, that He will never leave you or abandon you. And Psalm 103, verses 3 to 5, proclaims that God forgives all your sins. He heals all your illnesses. He rescues you from death and He crowns you with unfailing love and compassion. He satisfies you with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. Now, perhaps you are not grieving the death of a loved one, 
But nevertheless, there is something dead in your life. Perhaps it's a relationship or a job. Perhaps it's joy or happiness or peace. Or perhaps it's motivation or purpose. Something died in yourself and in your life. And you need a miracle of resurrection. This is the good news. Jesus is full of compassion in his heart for you. And Jesus came to give life where death rules and reigns. Jesus is your life and his life-giving work will never fail to defeat and overcome every form of death that is bringing you down and that is crushing you. Listen to what the Lord tells us in John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came so that those who belong to him may have life and life in all its fullness. Let us pray. God, thank you for all the mothers in the world. What a gift they all are to us and how we love them. Most importantly, you love them, Lord. You have great compassion in your heart for all of them. And you have come to give them life in all its fullness. Please be with them always. Please make yourself known to them more and more. Please give them love. Please give them joy. And please give them peace. I pray the same thing for everyone. For fathers and children, relatives and friends. God, you have great compassion in your heart for all of us. And you have come to give us life in all its fullness. Please be with all of us always. Make yourself known to us more and more. Give us your love. Give us your joy. Give us your peace. Where there is death, God, please bring about life. Even for those who just lost a loved one, Lord, nothing is impossible for you. If it is your will, Please raise that person back to life in the name of Jesus. And Lord, for many of us who are in pain and are suffering a different kind of death, God, please bring about life. We pray for those whose hearts and minds are ruled and vexed by thoughts and feelings of death. In Jesus' name, please set them free. For those who are grieving the death of a relationship, please heal and restore those relationships. For those who are grieving the loss of a job or a business, please comfort and encourage them. Please lead and guide them. Please provide a new job and source of income for them. For all of us, God, please save and set us free from every form of death. And please fill and saturate us all with the fullness of life that comes from you alone. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.